Swedish winters are cold and it costs 300 euros or more per month to heat a home. So-called passive houses like this one bring the bill down to just 30 euros or so. This couple has done the sums and is about to move into their new passive house. Passive home technology uses all the existing heated air in the apartment. Lamps, for example, emit heat. And the hot air from cooking is also recycled to heat the whole apartment. The use of available heat gives the technology its name, passive. Additional heating is minimal, windows in the home are double glazed and walls are thick too, to keep temperatures constant. Cost savings are one point in favour of passive technology, protecting the environment another. Office buildings use huge amounts of energy for heating or cooling, but not this one. Malmö's World Trade Centre is a world leader in energy efficiency. Blinds go up and down all day long to keep the sun out or let it in, depending on the weather. People working here say they're happy in their low energy environment, but you can't please everyone. We do have some problems with, uh, with the blinders. They are going up and down too, too often. Environmentalists say buildings are responsible for half the world's greenhouse emissions and that passive houses are part of the answer. I believe that almost every office building in uh, some start building in the next two, three years is going to have similar engineering system. There are already 6,000 passive houses in Europe, mostly in Scandinavia and in Germany. Once an ecological luxury, they now cost little more than old-style houses and are spreading fast. <laughs>